Hey everyone, this is my 2015 Japanese swag video. Every uh, two years my f wife goes to see her family in Japan and I usually go and this year I decided to do, try to do a lot of hobby stuff. So let's just jump in. My first souvenir. <laughs> a toothbrush. This is a cheap hotel toothbrush but I brushed my teeth with it and it was really a stiff brush which is good for cleaning off the uh, paint once you soaked it in green stuff but our dentist gives us free toothbrushes but they are the soft kind they are not stiff like that so I thought that was really nice anyway my brother-in-law found a thrift store type place where we stopped and I picked up these uh, just a little quick talk about what that actually is let's say just the lights maybe Yeah, better. Um, so anyway, he found this game store, and it was a real thrifty store type place. It had used American clothes, used DVDs, used games, uh, uh, models, toys, a lot of collectible toys like you'd get out of a vending machine. But, you know, I was really disappointed because everything seemed to be Gundam. No matter where you go, every toy store, department store, if they have plastic models, they're Gundam models. Big, giant, fighting robots. Which I like the series, but it's not my cup of tea. But, so anyway, this one, you know, I picked this one up for 100 yen, which is less than a dollar right now. And it's from... Some TV show called Idion. I D I O N is, I think, what it was when I searched on Google. It's on Wikipedia. But it's a cool little robot model, and this one's actually, I think, the alien enemy of the TV show. And wouldn't you know, this TV show is a, uh, let me just make sure that kind of recorded. Focused, not recorded. It's a, uh, TV show that lasted one season, 43 episodes, if I'm not mistaken. And in the TV show, three big giant robots are found that are trucks that transform and then connect. And very Gundam-like almost. Anyway, the TV show only lasted one year. And then the studio that made this went on to make <laughs> Gundam. So... You know, for a hundred buck, I didn't want to disappoint my brother-in-law in not finding anything because it was like three three aisles of Gundam and then a shelf of other stuff. So I picked that up, and then I want to say it was like two hundred yen. This is a uh, uh, yeah, there we go. Space Cruiser Yamato. It's a anime. And pretty popular, but I'm a sucker for spaceships, so I picked this one up. If I can open it. Ah. And, yeah, all the instructions are in the inside. And I thought this was a really old model, you know, Bandai 1979. It's like, wow, that's a really old model to be sitting around. I think they continually keep these in print. But anyway, it's got little stickers on it, which, if it'll focus, there we go. I don't have any intention of using the stickers, maybe. But, you know, I've got a lot of spaceship models that I keep. I've got the uh, X-Wing and Star Trek little game. But I thought these might be, let's see if it focuses in on that. Come on, you can focus, yes? Uh, it's going to be temperamental today, it looks like. But, uh, anyway, I'm a sucker for spaceship models. There it goes into focus. And so I figure this, if nothing else, you know, come up blank, we'll show it. Or we'll have something to show. So we go around and do lots of little tours. And did some searching on... Uh, Taki, Takayama? Taki, Tamiya. 
zoned there for a second. Uh, I don't have any other products. Just sit here. Uh, Hasegawa Model Company use their websites to find the Japanese versions to find a model shop. And I found a little model shop, and it was really cool. Top to bottom, nothing but plastic models and RC cars. Really cool shop. I really liked it. There were some cars that I really would have liked to pick up and a truck for my father. But space is an issue here, so you know, little tiny models again, that'll work. And you know, this one says 1979 copyright. But I think this one, somewhere on it, said it earlier. Yeah, Bandai 2014. If I can get it there, yeah. It's uh, constantly in print, and if you search for Mecha Collection, Mecha Kali, right there, you can actually find it. It's on the Sci Fi Modeler's website. You can buy some of them, although I think they're out of stock. But, yeah, another cool little spaceship model. And, uh,. I'm just checking from the picture, it looks like it'll be about that long, which you know, is about in scale with uh, Star Trek, maybe. So, you know, could maybe, I didn't even look, does it have a base? I want to say it's got a little white base in there. So, really wanted to support this little hobby shop, because or model shop, because it was cool, and brother-in-law was saying that a lot of their little hobby shops are all closing just like everyone else's. So. But I'll have fun putting these together. And I think these were you know, 300 yen, so less than $3. You can't really complain about that. But you know, really not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for figures. Oh well. You know, struck out. Posted some stuff on uh, Reaper's forum. Someone asked, you know, hey, Akihabara. I'll get to that in a second. But we were at, uh, we kept doing a little side trip. And I picked this up. You know, there's a little information sheets if you uh, can read Japanese at all. <laughs> I can't. Well, I can pick off a little bit here and there. But we went to this cultural center. When we were there, we uh, made washi paper, uh, washi, the Japanese paper. It was fun. And the little gift shop they had had these. And what this is is the end tile for a Japanese house. This would be at the top, and the tile, curved tile over the top of it, and going down each side. And it's basically a house gargoyle. And let's see if it'll focus up, up there. So, you know, I'm just sitting there looking at that going, yeah, I, I think I could paint that. And it's a ceramic of some sort. And it's not really meant to be painted, but it's not going outside either. And I want to say it's the God of Wind from some paper fans we bought at a dollar store. So, you know, there's that. The next stop we did was uh, Tokyo Hands, which is a big department store and got lots of hobby stuff in it. Uh, you know, gears. You can buy gears, ac acrylic plastic in different shapes, balls. So, real cool shop. And I wanted to pick up some files, but I didn't know if I had them already or not, so I didn't, and I regretted it, and I think I did the same thing last time. So, we kind of decided, you know, link to the the Reaper forums got a private message that some guy said, hey, Liberty 8 in Akihabara was really good and suggested it if, because his daughter was going to go and check it out too. And so, you know, could kill two birds with one stone by having me look at it, find something cool, and then his daughter would know to go. So we went to Akihabara. They have pre-painted -pre vinyl figures everywhere. Collections upon collections and collections. Not what I was looking for, but we hadn't made it to Liberty 8 yet. Made it to Liberty 8 and it was a bust. This had, I guess there's some bad information floating around on the internet somewhere because it had a big sign out front on, well, on their main floor uh, 
cashier's counter said this is a transportation only store they sold collectible cars little hot wheel type things model trains model uh, not really you know plastic model but you know just display models and aircraft and that and it's not what I was looking for so I was really disappointed but we get out of the shop and see down on the corner there's this place called Tam Tam Hobbies model trains and things like that so I picked up this stuff we'll do this one first um, 960 yen and it's a hot springs bathhouse in onsen I think I think there's two types of bathhouses and this may not be a onsen because that may be uh, natural hot springs but it's an in scale model and it already busted at the one shop so it was really desperate for her <laughs> to come away with at least something and well, this is not a bad little model kind of cool thing to have so you know, I'm happy with it pick it up put this off to the side for a second and here are some stickers that go with it and you know okay you know it's just a in scale model for trains but I f was thinking that it's probably a good scale for uh, calves well I don't have a calf sitting here that I can show but that's my, kind of my idea because these two are restaurants so my idea is uh, to make a little diorama and while these are pre-paints I can go in and do a lot of weathering techniques and touch-up paints and things like that and really kind of get this good and I was gonna make a little collection of two restaurants a hot springs and a parking lot that says calf parking only and put a couple calves in there and uh, that way it's a little stopping point for everybody to get a hot bath something to eat on their in their campaign but I thought that was cool <clears throat> and 880 yen which is less than eight dollars so yeah I'll pick that up since we didn't know if we'd be back to the uh, Tokyo hands I went ahead and picked up one of their files let me get it in here and get it into focus there we go and it's a little needle file and 920 yen so I paid nine bucks for this basically not what I would have preferred to do and I think this is like there we go it's 0.8 millimeters you can't see it it's underneath the price tag but really tiny fine needle file I figured it'd be good for getting in a little cracks on the metal models uh, maybe on bones too so I decided well you know everything's beginning to bust I might as well pick this up too so got a little file then we go try have some ramen and the place we picked was absolutely nasty uh, it uh, came with a little pork and it was more fat than pork and I could eat I ate my till I was full but it was just disgusting and while it was sitting there cooling a, a skin formed on top of the soup of the fat it was just uh, I'm not a fat eater but while we were in the restaurant I started searching through this link the man had sent me on Reaper and they had a place called miniature park so okay we found it it's near the McDonald's on the other side of the buildings but it was exactly what I was looking for let me pick up what I've got here first off I have let me try just one because it's gonna be dark okay there we go that's a little samurai looking rabbit warrior and you know 500 yen you betcha sold and I picked up a, a second version of it if it'll focus okay there we go and so you know that's a cool little thing I had never seen this before the store itself I only recognized two um, 
companies, uh, Andrium Miniatures, and I don't remember the other one, but it was something European that you could get there. But they had models from Russia and Czechoslovakia and Vietnam. And so it was things I hadn't seen before. So it was definitely worth stopping and getting. And this is a, a police woman. Japanese police woman. 132nd scale, so it's a little bit bigger than what I normally paint or would keep for Reapers. So, and here it's yeah, there's Sir Four Scale and a little tiny thing compared to it. But you know, it's not something I'm gonna put in a diorama with anything else. So but uh Aurora model dot JP, so you know, picked that one up. I thought that was cool. I also picked up the uh geisha from an Edo area era and you know paid quite a bit, but you know it's very nice little model. It's really liked the place. They had one setup that was called Adam Silicious Rib, and they had them all turned away from the counter and had warning on it. And yeah, it was definitely a warning. I did not pick anything up. You can look, Google it if you want to. But here's what I picked up, which is their original models. And this is things they've made. And and I got a little samurai guy and a couple cat courtesans. And you know, there's him. And he is going to be very interesting for me to paint because I am not that good yet. Yeah. Came with a little display card. So I'm going to try to get that painted. And I also picked up the cats. Which this is the second time I've made this video because the first time was bad. So this one's going a lot smoother now. And if I could get it out, I've got a little information page about uh, uh, you know who the characters are actually based on. So you know there's their concept art and the original things. But, uh, you know, cool little cat figure. You know, I'm made out of resin. But that's fine. And there's the, uh, the bigger one. He's multi-part, so he's going to have to take some more work than normal. Pick up the little fuzzy pink stuff. But so, if you're ever in Japan looking to do hobby stuff, the uh, miniature park near the McDonald's in Akihabara, really cool web place to go. So, definitely check them out. I wish I'd spent more money there, but space was an issue, so I wasn't sure. And then we did make it to Tokyo Hands, and here are the uh, needle files I picked up. If it would focus. Seems like I have to get really close for it to even register something. But, uh, you know, little tiny needles and a bigger set. And I can't recall if I got these already once before, but I got them again if not. And then to kind of close it out, we hit the dollar store. And I picked up, well, dollar store. It's a hundred yen store. So I picked up uh, little sets of four clamps. You know, dollar each, so or less than a dollar each, so good purchase there. It even says, you know, for processing let's focus. For processing model assembly and others. So it works for me. If it would focus. There you go. And then my prize that I got, well, actually that miniature park stuff is the prize, but I was really happy I found these. This is at the uh, Daiso 100 yen shop as well. And focus, there we go. It is stackable miniature display cases. And again, 100 yen. So this is less than a dollar for that. I've got one of those IKEA glass cabinets, and 
the miniatures don't take up that much space but using this oh wonderful it stair step and use a little poster tack and get it all locked in and yeah you know, I put a lot of miniatures in these and stacked them away so thought that was really cool wanted to share you can actually find a Daiso website here in the US at least I think so it's you know you have to buy bulk it's meant for a uh, uh, stores, so you have to buy, you know, 144 in a case. Unfortunately, they don't have this one. They do have just the square one with the square base, so if you're looking at it, maybe good, but I think you probably could go down and just get one somewhere else anyway. But anyway, this was really cool. Had a lot of fun with it. Um, I don't have the cases because I was too excited. I put them all in the display case already. But anyway, that's my Japanese swag video for 2015. Two more years and probably go back to the Miniatures Park place. And, you know, pick up a lot more of these. And bring a better suitcase so we can carry more or maybe just budget for some shipping. But uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next video.